Ghost ships are sea vessels that contain no living crew. Also known as phantom ships, these ghost ships could be the result of various activities. History is littered with stories of pirates taking out large crews or circumstances where mutiny has broken out on board or simply from a crew deserting their ship for land or some other more logical destinations. If you're into the mysteriousness of the sea, then you've come to the right place. As today, we'll be analyzing five times people have seen ghost ships in real life. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Lake Superior. Our first story today took place in the fall of 2016 when video captured by a guy named Jaden Aslan took the internet by storm. Jason and some friends were out on Lake Superior one day when they recall seeing a remarkable rainbow. When they aimed to take some pictures of said rainbow, that's when things got a bit strange. Check out the video that they captured, what many online claim to be a ghost ship off in the distance. What in the world could that be? While others disregarded the image as an optical illusion, there is one thing for sure. This definitely doesn't look natural. Could this really be one of those ghost ships? Or is it something else? Something more common? After turning away from it for just a moment to discuss with his friends what they were looking at, Aslan claims that once he turned back to analyze the image again, it was gone. Which is odd, because if it were indeed a ship, then it would definitely have the ability to sail away in the opposite direction. However you look at it, there's an obvious bit of strange activity happening out over Lake Superior. And if any of our viewers live out there in that area and have experienced anything like this before, then we'd certainly love to hear about all your experience. Now before we move on to more crazy ghost ship stories that have recently went down, check out this photograph that was just sent in to the Supreme family. This large and apparently abandoned ship floated eerily close to the tourist beach, causing concern to everyone on land as to what in the world was going on. It's not every day that boats this size go without a crew, but according to the reports, there wasn't a single soul on board. What do you think this could be about? Pirates? Or maybe even something more sinister than that? Let us know what you think down below in the comments, and we'll hop back into today's countdown. Burma. We'll move on from what may have simply been a trick of the light to something that's clearly much, much larger than anything like that. You probably wouldn't think that something that was nearly 600 feet long and weighing in at more than 18,000 tons could become lost, but that's exactly what happened in late summer of 2018. This time around, we're in Burma, which you can find in Southeast Asia, where this gigantic ship called the Sam Rutalingi PB-1600 literally washed ashore at some point during the last week of August. When the gigantic boat finally settled, the police and other authorities climbed aboard, set to investigate into what happened with whatever crew they could find there. This is where the story gets a bit more interesting, as there was no sign of anyone, no crew, no supplies, no anything, on the boat. It's almost as if the ship was just wandering around in the ocean by itself. However, after further investigation, it appears that there were two broken tow lines connected to the boat. After contacting their navy, they soon discovered that a tugboat that was now over 50 miles away was towing this alleged ghost ship, but during some vicious storms, the lines broke, causing the abandoned vehicle to drift off onto its own course. So, as it turns out, this ghost ship was simply just a runaway boat, which makes for a pretty lofty piece of misplaced property. It's not every day that you see something that weighs more than 1,800 African elephants just floating around by itself, but at least this time around, we know no one was hurt. The Bay Chimo. Up next, we'll talk about another ghost ship that went abandoned, but this time around, it was for a much, much longer period of time. This story is about the SS Bechimo, a 1,300-ton cargo ship owned by the Hudson's Bay Trading Company. The vessel was used regularly to transport goods and passengers to Alaska and British Columbia. It also did some fur trading with Native Americans along the sea. In the fall of 1931, while returning from a trek out to Victoria Island, winter came in a bit earlier than expected. The boat was quickly trapped in freezing blizzards with extreme winds and sub-zero temperatures. Bay Chimo got stuck in some ice, and there was absolutely nothing that the crew could do about it. 
Luckily, however, a short few days later, the ice melted and had broken up. But while continuing on their travels, the same thing kept happening again and again. Finally, the Hudson Bay Company enlisted airplanes to go out and recover the crew. Well, at least most of them. The captain and more than a dozen others stayed with the ship, building shelter on the ice in hopes of one day being able to sail out of there. That day never came. However, as on November 25th, just a few hours after the end of another horrible blizzard, the remaining crew woke up to the stunning realization that the Bay Chimo was gone. For the next several days, random people reported seeing the floating ship. A local hunter once alerted the crew of where he spotted it one time, and they were able to get on board to salvage the remaining supplies that they had. After that, however, they simply set the ship to drift off by itself, as they feared the pack ice would simply keep hindering their progress and ultimately cause too much damage to the vehicle. Pretty crazy, right? Just saying goodbye to something that massive and important? But what else could they have done? Sometimes Mother Nature just wins. Anyway, that's also not where the story ends. There were several sightings of the now apparent ghost ship after that time, and by 1939, over a dozen had come in, claiming that the large boat was floating aimlessly. The last possible sighting, though, was over 30 years after that all went down, when reports surfaced in 1969 of someone seeing this vessel 37 years after it was abandoned by its original crew. There are stories of various crews assuming ownership throughout the decades that it was lost, but since 1969, no one has seen it. It's now believed to finally have succumbed to the elements and is likely somewhere at the bottom of the ocean, but will likely never realize its exact location. The Admiral's Wife Before we get to our second to last story for the day, we've got to pause for a quick moment and show a little love to one of our most recent viewers. With that said, a major congratulations goes to none other than Carrie Ann Koost, who just a few days ago, after watching one of our most recent episodes, left a comment and thanked us and asked us to never stop posting new videos. Ha, <laughs> hey Carrie, you don't have to worry about that. And thank you so much for checking us out. Up next, we have some video of another weird ghost ship story, but this time around, we get a bit more literal with the expression, as the footage supposedly displays a ghost on a ship. And get this, this big old boat is over 250 years old. So check it out. The story goes that the HMS Victory, known as a high-profile ship of the Royal Navy, is up to some very strange activity lately. The wife of Admiral Nelson, the captain of the HMS Victory, is supposedly filmed in this video captured by a guy visiting the old historic boat. You can see the historic ship for yourself at the Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. And once the footage hit the internet, people were pretty much head over heels to proclaim that the lady near the back in the old time garments must be a ghost. The guy who shot the video even says that while he was on the boat, there was no one else around. And he didn't even notice the footage of the lady walking until after he had gotten home and was reviewing the tape. But of course, it could also simply be a woman with a pension for old school fashion walking around, but who am I to judge? So, do you really think this is a ghost? Do you want to get a shout out in one of our daily videos? Well, don't forget to drop a comment down below with the hashtag Supreme Family. Tomorrow could be your day. Now, let's get back to the topic. Or is it just a misunderstanding of the surroundings from a person who was around all types of history at the time? The Drifter. Our final story of the day is clearly the most morbid of them all, as the Coast Guard of Japan found a wooden boat that was carrying partial skeletons. Yeah, pretty sick, right? Less than 200 feet off the coast of Hokkaido Island, on the western part of Japan, this boat was found. And this is just one of over 100 of these ghost ships that drifted over to this area. And allegedly, most of them are believed to be coming from North Korea. And this was by no means the only one found with human remains inside. The Japanese believe that most of these boats come from North Korea because of certain markings on the wood and also the contents of some of the remains. North Korean cigarette packets with North Korean writing was also found in one boat, for example. Still, others warn of simply implying that these boats are from a certain area without concrete proof, as that could clearly cause issues when it comes to the expense of burying these unknown men and women. With this being one of 106 of the ghost ships to wash up on Japanese land in the last couple of years, the fact that no one really understands why these people are traveling on these boats to their demise is still up in the air. 
Could they be escaping something? Some believe that they could be fishermen who are simply pushing their limits due to higher demands for their product, but 106 different fishing crews? That just seems to be a bit extreme to me. Now wait, before we finish up, did you forget to drop your comments down in the comment section? What, you did? Then go ahead and talk to us right now. We love hearing from you. Plus, it helps us to figure out what stories we should keep and then which ones we should stay away from. So don't hesitate. Don't even think about it. Just go comment right now. And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again.